Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 25C in Expression 2 series, and we're going to be going over 4x4 matrices. So let's start by defining a 4x4 matrix, which we do as such. And we can say that this is going to be the identity matrix, the identity 4. Remember, 4 is very important, or else you're going to get errors when trying to do vector manipulation. All right, so let's print that out. And here's the structure. So we have row number 1, row number 2, row number 3, and row number 4. All right, so let's say we want to get the zeroed out matrix. So we can do that just by putting matrix 4. And unlike uh, one by, I mean, 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrix, we're going to have 16 different values here. So I forgot 11. Here we go. And we're going to have 16 values here as output is shown here. Now, it doesn't have to be numerical output. You can also do it like I'm doing right here in vector form. So uh, it's a little uh, more tedious, I guess, this way to do it. But if you have vector four inputs, this is very useful for you then. Okay, so we do this, and it's going to uh, not preserve the order, of course, because it's going to be setting it by column and not by row. So our one, two, three, four is in the first column. This is the second column. And uh, column three, of course, goes to the third value of the row, and column four is in the fourth value of each row. Okay, so if we want to preserve the order, of course, we can use row matrix, and that will be just fine as well. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 16. Okay, so preserving that order, let's do some uh, row swapping, right? So, or matrix swapping. So we're going to say matrix, these are matrix to swap row right here. And we're going to swap rows 1 and 2. Now there's going to be an error here when I do this. Because matrix 4 does not support swap rows. And even if I just use a matrix right here just to show you guys, and I use a different value as well still it causes error however it is okay for swap columns so that's fine so we'll say swap columns one three and there you go you see some columns are swapped I'll actually do row matrix that's a little more apparent there we go and there we have uh, one and maybe two just to show you guys this works for different values okay so let's say and we're going to get the zero depth matrix here so it's easier to understand so say matrix 4. And then we're going to say that we want to set row and set column. So we're going to set row 1 to a value of 1, 2, 3, 4. And there you go. It says 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's put that in vector 4 format. That'll work just as fine as well. OK. So let's say, and also I just want to mention, you can also put two by two matrices here to fill out the matrix. So we can put a bunch of uh, M2s, you'd call them, and uh, four of those, and that'll be fine as well. Okay, so when we're setting the column, let's set column, just to show you guys how that works. And now we have one, two, three, four. And of course, you don't have to put in vector form as well. You can do it with just number input, and that's just as fine. All right, so what about the diagonal? The diagonal is like the identity matrix. So um, if you remember, if we put uh, identity 4, so it goes across the diagonal. But we're going to reset these 1s to 1, 2, 3, 4. Oops, i got to put set diagonal, and then I have to put number, i put one extra number. Whoops, there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we can also put this in vector 4 format. I'm not going to show you that just to save a little time, but that's all right as well. Now, we can set the um, matrix for the entity. Remember, we get the reference frame matrix for an entity's local direction vectors by columns in order of x, y, z, and position, uh, with the bottom row being 0, 0, 0, 1. All right, so we can do that by saying matrix 4 right here. So we go matrix 4. And we're going to get the entity, which we'll use owner. And we'll output those positions. And as you can see, as I'm changing position and updating the chip, or changing my in position, it's updating the variables as well. All right, so what about the angles? Well, we can get the angles as well, and that's just as fine. All right. So that's good. Now, what if we want to go and get the x, y, and z values of this matrix that we just defined? So we can do that with the matrix 4 for x, y, and z. Now here's the y, and here's the z. And we can also get the position as well while we're at it. 
which is going to be 0, 0, 0. So that's kind of how the uh, matrix 4 with entities and uh, angles kind of references that give you a better idea of the position that it uses. Um, now we can also get the inverse of a matrix. So let's say we want to output it here. So we'll say inverse A, right? So, oops, we've got to put the inputs, which is going to be which matrix we're going to be doing. So it's actually in wrong format. There we go. That's good. All right, so I hope that uh, made Matrix 4 pretty clear for you guys. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave some in the comments below. And always, if you like and comment, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.